Now we need to finish closing down the rest of the machine. We're going to check to see if there's any write-in ballots in the slot. There are none, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to check to see if there are any unscanned ballots in the front. There are none here either, so we're all good there. We'll take our ballot collection report that's found in the Raspberry. We'll write the machine number down, and we'll write in zero for unscanned ballots and zero for write-in ballots. In the event that there are unscanned and write-in ballots in the unit, election inspectors will follow the directions of the poll site coordinator processing these ballots. If we did have any ballots in there, we would take those ballots, we would put them in the appropriate bag, and send them back to Mabel locked up in a bag. Now, what we need to do, because our table team has been working just as fast as we have, as, long as, as well as the floor team, we need to start packing our supplies. But the first thing we need to do is to remove our blue ballot bag from inside the machine. Now that we've removed the ballot bag, we have it sitting here, we're going to want to close it and have it ready for going back to Mayville. Before closing and sealing the blue ballot bag, we need to add the following for return to Mayville. All unused ballot booklets, used ballot booklet stubs, and poll books. The table team will now take all ballot bags and put them into the chocolate bag for return to Mayville. Now we want to start packing the machine. We want to take all of our privacy sleeves, put them inside the machine. We want to take our sample ballot cards from the walls, put them back in the machine. We want to take our red pull site coordinator bag with all of its supplies back in there, put that in the machine. We're going to take our supply bag from the table, put this in the machine. Place raspberry into chocolate bag. Also, our poll site coordinator has been using our little Ask Ed device all day to find information about voters. We're going to take that and we're going to put that in the bag also. So now that we have everything inside this machine, we're going to want to close the door. Lock it, turn the latch, take our seal that we recorded earlier today, and seal this door. Now, we're going to want to open the front emergency slot and put our ADA kit back into the front of the machine for a return to Mabel inside the machine. We're going to want to close our door, reseal it, and again, we have that seal ready. It's all recorded. And get that ready to go back. Now, all the doors are locked. We take our keys, put them back into the red key bag. We're going to place the red key bag into the black ballot bag. We're going to zip the black ballot bag shut. We're going to place a seal on it. And now this bag is ready to ship back to Mayville. So now we want to take our cord, attach it, turn our monitor back around. We want to take our styrofoam and put the cover on the back. We can take our easy directions once we're completed with them, and we can put them in the panel in that little pouch in the front of the machine.
we want to put our cover on, on this front. Now we take our monitor arm and we gently move it down, get it into place, and we just press down. And take our black cover, and recover the machine. And now our machine is ready to ship back to Mavo. What you want to remember before you leave the pole site is to make sure everything you've used is cleaned up, make sure all your food is cleaned up, make sure all your trash is cleaned up, make sure all the appropriate bags are ready to go, and we're all set. At the end of the night, the blue ballot bag and chocolate bag are sealed and returned to the Board of Elections in Mayville. The green bag and machine are returned to the Board of Elections the following day.